Hello. Today I'm working on an iMac. This is a late 2012 21.5 inch iMac. This is the it's A1418 EMC2544. This computer has a failing display. So uh, you can see it in that screen. I'm going to put it on the, the main camera, overhead camera, so you can see it. At first I thought maybe it was the, the graphics card, but everything I've read about this model, this particular error is a, a failed LCD panel. So I'm going to... I'm just going to unplug it, I'm afraid. Actually, I'll press the power button. There we go. I'm going to press the power button again just to discharge any residual power if there is any. Um, okay. So to remove this panel, I'm going to use one of these one of these plastic tools. This has a, a plastic cutting edge that won't scratch the back of the panel, which actually doesn't really matter with the old panel, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm also gonna stick something back here to keep this panel tilted back so that it doesn't accidentally come forward and drop the panel and rip the cable. That'll do. Okay, so I'm going to stick this cutter in between the glass and the metal. Oh, it's not very strong, is it? I got it in on the side. And this is just cutting the adhesive. Now you have to have a, an adhesive kit for the iMac which I believe I do. For the A1418, yep, that's the one. Good, good. Because I also have that for the 27 inch, but uh, for the 24 inch, that's what I need. <clears throat> These things are quite weak, these little wheels. Let me try this again with a little more focus. Wow, it doesn't want to cut that. Nope. Okay, so that adhesive has been in there a very long time. I'm just gonna go up and down. I'm not gonna try to go too deep initially. This little cutting wheel is quite thin and flimsy, but I think it's making progress in some spots. Yeah. There are just some spots that are quite hard and it doesn't want to go. So I'll do the spots that do go, that do allow it in. I have another one of these as well. I have replacement wheels and Actually, I've got a few of them. I'm gonna try one of these other boyos. This has a, a different material. This is like ABS, and this feels more like graphite. Yes. Hmm. So tight. So because this is the old monitor that's going to be thrown away, I'm just going to use a knife. And I'll set it to about just under a centimeter deep, maybe. Yeah. And we'll just go through and cut. And yeah, this will scratch the back of the LCD, but that's okay. Yeah, it's quite tight. I wonder if that's, it almost looks like double-sided tape. It's not the uh, factory stuff. 
That's possible. Well, I feel like it was probably me who had this open last. And I would have used one of the normal kits. Although it's an aftermarket kit, it's not the factory adhesive. And I broke it. So that broke the glass because I was pulling too hard. So now I've got broken glass and adhesive. Uh, oh well. It's not the end of the world. I just don't want to make a mess here with broken glass all over the shop. Literally. Being careful around the webcam. Okay. I feel like I've gone around most of the computer. There's still a bit of sticky stuff here. So that's a perfect example of why you should not use a utility knife for this job. Okay. We got this side released. No, it's still pretty tight. <laughs> so, I feel like this aftermarket adhesive doesn't really cut away as easily as the factory version. Which is really a shame. So I'm not pushing very hard here, I just want to make sure that I get through the adhesive. Plastic spudger, put a little outward pressure, there we go, okay, this whole thing should come out now. Hmm, so those adhesive kits, the aftermarket adhesive kit is too sticky, it's too strong. So now I just need to disconnect these two cables. Maybe I'll try to get some light on this so you can see it. So this plug just comes out like this. And this plug has a latch that I have to flick up if I can grab it. Not really get a hold of it. There we go. That should come out this way. Okay. And is that it? Yep. So there's also some adhesive across the bottom. Holding that bottom edge. I'm going to cut that. There we go. And 
that's out. And it's cracked all the way across now, thanks to me. I'm disappointed that I did that. And I really, really hope the one that I bought is the correct one. This should be brand new. Fragili. Must be Italian. I like the way it's packaged. <clears throat> Discharge myself. Okay, it's a physical match and looks like a logical match. So it comes with the power cable but not the data cable. So I'm just going to pop off that data cable off the old one, attach to the new one. All right. I need to scrape all of this old adhesive off of here. I'm going to lay this down so you can see what I'm doing. This stuff doesn't come off very easily at all. But it, it's not as... The OEM, you know, the Apple stuff was more like a like in a foam a double-sided foam where this is like a double-sided tape it's quite thin and quite strong the the factory seal had a little bit of give to it it was a thin layer of foam maybe not even half a millimeter thick but that's thick enough that that little plastic tool when you run it up the side it's cutting the foam separating the two adhesive sides where this stuff is just double-sided tape that plastic roller had to go in and try to cut the adhesive part of the tape and it was very difficult and that's what led me to use the blade which is what led to cracking the screen that screen is destroyed that old one if i had done that to a to a screen that i intended to to replace i would have just been i'd be very very sad right now because that would cost me 250 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood, for a replacement part. Maybe next time I'll use chemical, put some alcohol on the, on the blade or something. Maybe I'll test that in here. I'll see if alcohol makes a difference. Oh, I think it does. Yeah, it does. This is getting the adhesive right off. Maybe I'll spray the adhesive with alcohol. I might dab this with alcohol. I'll put a put alcohol on a paper towel and try to saturate this to soften it up and see if that helps. I think it will. Alcohol won't hurt anything in here. Well, that section actually looks pretty good. So this is a wireless antenna. I don't want to scratch it or damage it. But there are big chunks coming off here. It's going to be gentle. Might put some alcohol on there on that piece The 
stuff is so sticky. Go figure. Oh boy, I have a lot to go here. I wonder if glass cleaning would work. Doesn't seem to. Maybe it does actually. Lift it off of there and stick it to my fingers. Well, this is taking ages. Keep moving off camera, don't I? Okay, there we go. is annoyingly sticky. It's gonna wipe off these tide marks that came from me spraying alcohol. There's still some adhesive stuck on here that I just can't get off. I need to soak this in alcohol a bit more. All right, give this a blowout while I have it open, back in a second. Hey, more tools. This one is stuck to the plastic. Come on, buddy. I think one goes across the top. Two will go across the top on the other side. Yep, clear room for the webcam. Three is the one that has the wireless antenna wires or antenna pads on the side. So four, oh, 4L and 4R are across the bottom, and then five is across the left. Okay, 
So those ones that go across the bottom, I'm going to put them in first. 4L goes here. 4R goes here. So, do you have the wee holes? I don't know. Okay, so take the red tab off of this one. Come on now. Nope. It's not what I wanted. So on this side, I will start it using the little the little guide hole and the guide hole on the Mac. I'll we'll just line that up and get that started. Now I'll grab the bottom through this wee hole. You can't really see it, can you? These have little holes in them that you can hold of the tool. This one wasn't punched through the plastic though. Oh no, because it's still, the back end is still on. So if I take this backing off, I should be able to stick this through the hole. Yep. And now I can line that up. With the hole on the Mac. Okay. And I'm going to overlap these. Oops. So I just stuck that tape to the backing on the bottom bit, which is not what I intended to do. Will it come off? Nope. So that was my mistake. Um, what about with the tweezers? might cut that bit of tape because we've got double-sided tape there so I'm just gonna cut this bit off of here so that it doesn't overlap with the backing there that'll be fine so when I do the other side I'm gonna lift this backing off of the corner off of the bottom corner so that when I lay this other bit down it doesn't lay on top of that backing Okay, beautiful. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'll stick this tool through the guide pin hole, put it on the guide hole on the Mac, get that started. And now I'll go to the other side, take the backing off, and go through this little hole just to get it lined up. And there we go. Got one piece left. So I'll take this, I gotta take the backing off the end. Use the guide hole. And now I'll take the backing off the other end. I'm really also just making sure this lines up straight with the edge and it doesn't cover up the webcam and all that. So, okay. So I've got the adhesive stuck onto the chassis. Now I'm going to put the new LCD panel in place. Without removing the backing because I want to test it. So I need to put my, my padding back in here so it doesn't flip forward. Drop the new LCD panel out. Anything disastrous like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ground myself with my ground strap. 
And please do not remove any screen protectors if you wish to return the item. Fine. Okay, here we go. Just gonna set this in place. It's a very good fit. Tempted to take off that bottom and just adhere this to the bottom because it needs to work. And I don't want it to fall. So I'm holding my left or my right thumb just to keep it pushed back while I connect these cables. I'm going to take this piece of tape off of here that's holding the power cable in or down. Okay, here we go. There's the data connector. Can't really see what I'm doing, can you? That snapped in place, and then the power. is in place. Okay. It's slightly nerve-wracking. And I don't trust that I won't make a mistake, so I'm going to put this little clamp on the top. There's an extra bit of just an extra safety measure. And now I'll turn it on, make sure it works. Apple logo. You can't really see that, can you? Yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Okay. Now we have to adhere the panel to the computer, so I need to take off the rest of this backing. Why won't this backing come off? Oh. Whatever you do, don't drop the metal forceps or tweezers into the MacBook. Or touch any part of that circuit board. Okay, last chance. Looks good. Alright, and I'll take off the cover. <sighs> what a relief. This is done. It works. So that's it. Thanks for watching.